Hey, what is up, heroes, and welcome back to Small Pokemon Rejuvenation. Last episode, we got captured by Team Zen. We are now a prisoner in this little castle, and we've been put to work. So we have to head to the West Field to meet up with Saki, and she's gonna make sure we uh we do our work. And basically, we need to find a way to rescue uh, Alita because she is being tortured and uh, yeah, basically being mind controlled now. Well, brainwashed, and it's not good, not good at all. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, and that girl, Emma, she washed up on the uh, the castle asking for a job, and now she's basically uh, his assistant. I did what you asked me to. Well, of course you did. So why her? Hmm? Why is that girl so special? What exactly do you mean? Why are you torturing her? Oh, that? Her father was a traitor. She deserves it. Are you that cold-hearted? I am when I have to be. I don't enjoy torturing people. Teenagers, for that matter. Do you think I enjoy her pain? It seems like it. Well, I don't. Torturing isn't me. What uh, Anastasia says goes. Why torture her and not her father? Her father has been dead for ages. Is that so? How would you feel if I tortured your daughter if I hated you? Watch it, girl. I enjoy your presence, but don't speak out of line. My apologies. I just meant... I know what you meant. To answer your question, I'd kill you slow. So if you understand the love her father has for his daughter, why? The whole reason I'm here is because I love my daughter. I joined this team because of her. I'm confused. Why would you... My answers stop there. One last thing. Why are you just disabling the signal on their Pokeballs? Wouldn't it make more sense to confiscate them? Curious little lass, eh? They still have their Pokemon because Madame X wants it that way. Technology can fail, you know. The moment that signal goes out, it's game over for this place. You're correct. But it doesn't matter. If this place ends up in a ride or not, don't get me wrong. We're trying to prevent that at all costs. However, if it comes to it, we let it happen and fight back. What kind of place are you running here? Never heard of a riot at a prison being okay. There are some things you simply just don't understand. Fine, I'll humor you. What happens when a riot happens? People get hurt. Far worse than that. They are killed. So you want your prisoners to die? Whether or not they do or don't is irrelevant. I don't understand. And you are meant to understand. Well, you are meant to understand. Anyways, you've done well, girl. I don't uh, need you for a while. You're free to do whatever you please until further notice. You're too kind, sir. I should be in the West Wing, then. Get to it. Hey, that's where we are. Well, that's where we're going. We're gonna meet Saki here. Because we're banned from the East Side after a uh, last episode where we kind of got caught for breaking the little uh, signal transmitter device thing. Right, where is Saki? Can we get behind this waterfall? No, we can't. He's gonna be around here somewhere. Oh yeah, I'm on flower duty, aren't I? So I've got to do something with the flowers. I mean, last time Saki was on flower duty, she uh, she rearranged the flowers to spell out her name out, so that's pretty cool. Where is she? She's got to be around here. There, wait, nope, that's just some random dude. Ah, there she is. What's up? Oh my god, finally! Val and Adam uh, both got assigned stuff on the east wing, so they won't be here for a little while. Okay, so at first we didn't really trust you all that much. We weren't sure if you were a spy or what. We tried to inform you about how these signals worked in the most subtle way possible. We suck at being subtle. As you probably could have guessed, we already know how the signals work. We tried to find an area where the signal couldn't reach, and guess what? We totes did. You see this little opening right here? Looks like the path ends here, right? But You can actually squeeze! Hey! Right through that tree. Only Val, I, and Adam, and a special someone knows about this area. So there aren't any antennas back there. I'm sure you can put two and two together. Okay, let's follow her. I like how you actually go pretty slow through that, that's pretty cool. Ooh, there's a house here. Uh, Braxton, get your ass over here, son. Uh, Saki, do you have to yell? I'd like to stay incognito, thank you. Wait, what? Oh. Hey! Or something. Oh yeah, I think I forgot to mention that Braxton was a talking Pokemon. Yeah, she's special too. Just look at that fur. <laughs> I'm <like> that ass. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like I'm uh, an idiot? I mean, I know I am, but damn. Oh, the whole no signal thing? Pfft. I know what you're thinking. Why don't we just send out all of our Pokemon back here and retaliate? If you were thinking that, then you're not going to survive in this world very long, to be honest. People who go in guns blazing always die out eventually because they're not prepared. We'll, we've uh, all come to unanimous agreement to not act on this until we have a uh, surefire way of disabling the signals as a whole. We are the gym leaders, that's just a title. We don't know what we're up against, so if we lose, it's over, which has already happened at Aquatown. 
We need the help of everyone on the island. That's nice and all, but I remember agreeing on telling no one about this either. Fawlty's not a stranger. They're cool. No worries, I asked Val and Adam. They both said it was okay. I guess if Val and Saki trust you, I will too. Anyways, uh, Braxton got abducted with us too. But Valerie was smart. She threw a Pokeball at Braxton as soon as she was uh, taken. It's a good thing too. The guards haven't been even haven't even bothered trying to look for her because they think she's inside a Pokeball. I just want to preface this by saying I am no one's Pokemon. I am a free, beautiful, independent trainer who don't need no trainer. Free. Lol. <laughs> I'm more free than you. Thank you very much. What Whatevs? Did you find anything useful? Oh man, I would love to throw a Pokeball at Braxton right now. Unfortunately, no. Although, hmm. What is it? I tried to go into the second half of the castle, but there was this huge barrier. Couldn't get through it no matter what I did. Don't even think the warden can enter the second half of the castle. I saw him looking at the barrier, but he wouldn't go through it. That's weird. Doesn't he own the castle? That's what I thought. Uh oh. Oh god, we were here too long. They're looking for us now. Gotta go. See you, Braxton. Uh oh. Time to cheese it back. Quick. Okay. We're here, we're here. Don't worry about us. Let's just head back, shall we? Oh, there's Saki over there. Let's quickly go speak to her. Sup? I'm sorry. Miss Blackery and Voltsy. Where were you two? We're just by Absol the Absol statue. We couldn't read what it said. We looked pretty. You sure about that? How come it took you guys a while to get to this post then? Came from the other direction as well. Listen, no one questions your life choices, so I'd rather you not question mine. <laughs> I'm warning you, Miss Blackery. Stay out of trouble. I want you two in my view at all times. Got it? Understood. Alright. <laughs> well, that was too close for comfort. I thought they were going to search the area for blind spots. That would have been really, really bad. So yeah, needless to say that we don't go there very often. We only go there when it's absolutely necessary. And we want to um, ask Braxton for intel. But she's pretty cool, right? She and I are good friends. We go way back. Oh, that's Emma coming, isn't it? Oh. That ain't good. I think she overheard. She's super weird. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you go talk to her, Voltsy? Maybe you might find something out. I admit it. I don't want to speak to her. Lol, you can do it. In return, I'll do your job for you. Sound good? Hell yeah. Where is she? She is not down here. Hey, old girl, where you at? Sup? Is there something you want from me? Well, if you're just going to stand there and stare at me, then do it from a distance. I don't want to speak with you. Voltsy? Wait, stop. Don't talk to her. She's one of uh, Nevid's cronies. I did nothing. Voltsy approached me, not vice versa. I don't care who started what. You're deplorable. I don't approve of what uh, Nevid is doing. That's what you're wondering. I'm here because I need a place to stay. I wouldn't care if you had a gun to your head. I suppose you're just as bad as Neved, then. No, no, nothing I like. I wonder, though. You both show little mercy for enemies. Wait, I like this music playing. And you lose your temper. You sound the same to me. I'm done speaking with you. Nice speaking with you, too. Let's go. Alright. Uh, I guess we're going back to Braxton? I think we're, go we're going this way. Sup? Uh, not going this way. I guess she's up top by the uh, little signal mach machine. Maybe. Wait, where where did she go? I can't even get up there. Um, she definitely didn't go down. Oh, there she is. Didn't even notice her. The nerve of that girl. Now oh, don't mind me. I'm just uh, one of my one into myself as usual. Saki told me that you spoke to Braxton. Surprise him, right? Saki created a machine for her that allows her to speak our language. She's really talented. Oh, that's right. Saki told me she could distract the guard a bit. We can speak to Braxton a bit more before they start looking for us again. Alright. Sounds good. Let's go. I mean, probably not a good idea to go now that uh, Emma's kind of kind of close. Just watching our moves and stuff, but... Well, look at me. I'm a dumb old security guard. i got no else to be. Oh, no. I think Saki is starting to overdo it again. Miss Blackery, I'm warning you. Whoa, my bony Japanese ass! <laughs> oh god, I've had enough fire! Um, sir, this station has a faulty laser. 
I don't care, just do it. If you say so, fire! Oh Jesus, that strike hit right near us. Valerie, Fulti, what was that? It's like he was distracting a guard, but overdid it. They shot a laser and it shot right near us. Let's check it out. Well, of course. Okay. This is uh, getting kind of interesting. Alright, let's go. Ooh. The uh, tunnel there. Don't know this cave back here. I guess the tree blocked it just enough. It looks like it's too high for us to just climb up there ourselves. Hmm. Adam will be able to do something about this, but he's busy doing his assigned job. Hmm, we'll have to get uh, our own mining kit. But that you can ask a guard for one in the supply corridor. I know exactly where that is because I found that guy before. So let's uh, go and get this mining kit and then we'll come back and probably dig some holes so we can make some stairs, get up to the cave and then find what's going on. Oh man, I love Seki. Seki's like probably my favorite character in this game so far. Uh, how do I get back? Yeah, this way. The snow's hurt my eyes a little bit, I can't even see the uh, the entrance. The question is which way do I go again? I think it was this way, straight forward, right? I think I've been through here. Yeah, this is the place. Mining kit. There we go. Got our mining kit. And now we go back. And we can start digging. Minecraft style. Make some stairs. Get some blocks. All that good stuff. Surely they can hear me digging though if I try. No, I'll be digging into like a giant rock. Yeah, it's gonna make some noise. It was just still chilling there. Good place to chill in the snow. All right, let's go through. Got my mining kit. Let's go. Ah, so you were able to get your hands on a mining kit. Great job, Bolty. Now this should only take a second, but that's quite loud. Hey. Made some stairs. I'm quite talented, aren't I? Well then, shall we enter? Let's go. Ah, oh, it's freaking hot in here. It feels great. Definitely a positive change from the cold coming from outside. Although it does smell a bit foul in here. You're right. It smells sort of like burning rubber. It's really foul, actually. Communication disabled and shh. I think someone's there. Let's get a bit closer. Oh yeah, that's like what I'd do. Go to the people who will have us punished for being here. Whatever, there's got to be something uh, substantial here. I'm not leaving until I find out what. Alrighty then. Well, you heard the lady? Alrighty. Ooh. You should know how to fix this machine. I know he's done that with other models, but I wasn't there to get the proper treatment. I'm telling you, I don't know how to fix this machine. This is an overheating issue. How hard could this possibly be? I just don't know. Then what good are you? I told you she was nothing special. Destroying the SS Oceana for this lump of flesh was such a waste of time. And I'm sick of having all these people here at the castle. Did you know that Madam X gave my room to Neved? My room! Orders are orders. They've been quite clear. Enough complaining about that though. Once Madam X gets here tomorrow, you'll be able to have the whole castle to yourself. Mostly because no one else will be anything more. Oh god, so Madam X really has decided to slaughter them all, finally. Well, not in the way you're thinking. Madam X's methods are quite unconventional when it comes to uh, blatant murder at least. Not even I know what she is planning, but I trust her. Why do you trust her so much? If I remember correctly, you've got nothing to lose. Why are you even doing what you're doing? Don't you worry about that. Um, I really can't fix it. Hmm? You're so boring I forgot you were even here. Uh, you could you could have slipped away just now and you'd be home free. But you're too stupid for that, right? That was quite rude. Never seen you act this way. Oh, please, don't act as if it has feelings. That's just a good joke. Anyways, if you can't fix it, we're going to have to find other ways around our problem. No, never has a frost lass. Maybe we could use it as its ice type ability to cool down the machine. Anything to get him out of my room. Oh, wait, about that. Excuse me. Must have slipped my mind, but it seems like we're getting a new recruit today. Don't we get a new recruit all the time? True. This one is already being prompted to be an ex uh, executive. What's her name? Can we leave? It smells absolutely horrid in here. She's right for once. We can talk about this later. Oh, I wonder if it's Emma. <gasps> she saw us. Let's grab her. Uh, do you know her? What are you gawking at? Get over here now. I... She's your mother? Plot twist. If that's the case, I doubt she'd do anything to get you in trouble. 
That also means that the passengers of the SS Oceana are here too. That's just perfect for us. Now this Madam X character is appearing. The way they talked about her made it sound like she's uh, their boss or something. I have to find a way to save everyone, including them. Yeah, we can worry about that later. Let's check out this machine. Alright then. She you should break the machine, like, makes sense. Well, it's just like that, uh, Natasha's chick said. The machine is suffering a major heating issue. Wonder why that is. Well, let's see here. Click that icon over there. This one? Yeah, that one. Oh, this machine controls the antennas. That's what I thought. But could you click the icon on the top left? That uh, uh, should show the coding on it. Look at that. The coding is absolutely disgusting. It's all over the place. I guess the person who created this machine wasn't really a hotshot programmer. I'm not so sure. What do you mean? I've seen, I've seen Saki mess with coding with her classmates before. It's one thing to mess up a code. This looks too neat. It looks like it was deliberately tinkered with. You don't say. You don't think that Voltsy's mum had anything uh, to do with it? It's possible. Whoa, the code is uh, specifically telling the machine to do multiple tasks at once uh, on one generator. It's trying to do so much with so little power, and it's starting to overheat. Dude, this thing's a ticking time bomb. This, that's good, isn't it? If this thing blows up, we'll be able to use our Pokemon everywhere. Yes, we could also destroy the whole island. Say what now? This machine requires a crap ton of nuclear power. If it overheats on itself, it will catch fire. But once the fire reaches its core, there's no telling what could happen. It could implode on itself. What if Voltsy's mum deliberately did this to destroy the island? I don't think she knew that her child was on the island with her. No, 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 no this isn't good. We're going to have to find a way to stop this. Well, there's an idea. You see these pipes? I think they're filled with wires that connect to all the antennas with a bunch of connected paths. If we can sever these uh, pipes, all the antennas could go offline instantly. Doing this would eliminate the possibility of having the signal turned back on. Wouldn't the alarm sound if we did that? Not necessarily. Seems like the alarms sound when the antennas are physically tinkered with, or damaged. If we cut the signal, the alarm should think that everything is going according to plan. Well good. Can't you burn the pipes yourself? Are you nuts? I'm a fire type. What does the fire generator? Uh, what does fire generate? Heat. This place is already hot enough as it is, and then more fire to the flame will make it worse. This machine will blow us sky high. No, we're going to have to find another way. Well, we're not exactly equipped to cut through steel pipes. No, we're not. Saki could make something though. True, but where would it even find parts for something like that? An antenna. Specifically the antenna Saki ripped from the ground and threw into the sky. Slight problem, we don't know where it ended up. Kind of just threw it in the air and then ran. So, it shouldn't have gone too far away. At least, I hope it hasn't. Once Voltsy takes care of their job for the day, they'll be free to wander wherever they please. Saki did Voltsy's job already, so we're good. Fine. I'd help you look, but the whole Pokemon thing isn't exactly out uh, working out for me. Right. We have to move quickly, we don't have much time until we're due back to ourselves. But tomorrow's Madame X shall arrive. Okay, so we haven't got time to really mess around here. This place is pretty big. Ooh, what is in here? Can I not? You can't go through this. Like, you literally cannot go through that gap in the wall. Uh, what's around here? Ooh! Metal coat! Not bad, not bad. Man, this game's story is so interesting. I really like this game. So fun. And everyone keeps telling me to play Pokemon Reborn. All, all I say is I will. When uh, you know, the time's right. I'm not going to play it now with this and Moon and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to play it like eventually. It's on my list of things to play. So we are going to the east side to find the antenna that Saki threw, right? Okay, so after talking to Val and Braxton, apparently that the antenna could have been thrown on top of the castle and also Saki has been locked in herself for punishment. So if we go speak to Saki, maybe we can get an idea of where uh, she might have actually threw it. More direction, so let's go speak to her. Might have to do that. Alright, she should be in her cell. No, she's not. She's in a different cell then. Oh, that's pretty bad. I guess we have to explore the... Uh, the castle and try and find it then. I have no idea where it could be. Let's try it to the top then. Because the higher I go, the better. We got here. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere then. Am I even allowed up here? Surprise, I'm allowed up here to be honest.
That's a dead end, so I can't go that way. Okay. So let's see if we can get higher. If we can, then that's definitely where the, uh, the antenna's got to be. Maybe we can go this way. I think that was the yeah, unlocked. Alright, through here we go. The antenna's got to be around here somewhere. Ah! Oh god. This thing fell on my head. <laughs> it came straight from the sky. It's a space satellite? I know it. It's my friend now, and it will never leave my sight. What? You want this thing? Never! I'll never give it to you. Um... Right, so how do I... I know how to be my best friend to you. We're gonna be famous and I'll become rich. So we, we found the satellite. The question is, how do we get it? Oh, I have no idea how we get the satellite then. You found the antenna, but the guard won't give it up? This is certainly problematic. Problematic indeed. You think what I'm thinking? No, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Hey, Volti, why don't you bring the security officer here? Why to negotiate with him? Okay, so I have to run all the way back. Just gotta tell him to come here. Okay, well, let's go do that then. Got a long way to go. Oh my goodness, got lost and then... Like, Emma's disappeared now. Emma's not uh, on the bench anymore, so... Something's gonna happen pretty soon. But I gotta run all the way back. Just that guy. Tell him to go back to that place. And I gotta run all the way back to that place. To tell him... Well, to see the negotiation. Man, this game just does not want to give me an easy time, does it? Can you just teleport me there? Like, boy, that's not the right way. I don't know where I'm going now. I am actually kind of lost. Which way did I go? Oh, wait, no, I know which way I went. Get back to the antenna is so hard. I think I went, yeah, up the stairs here. Go up the stairs. And then we go up here, go this way, through this door. Go up these stairs, through this door. Take a right, oh god, not that way. Up here, around here, and then we should be on the outside again. There we go, so far to run every time. Sup, hmm? Some people are causing havoc in the west wing of Black Steeple Field? Darn it, fine, I'll go. I'm going. Yes, it fast traveled me there. Thank you. You said they were around here, right? Can I see anyone here? Were you lying to me? Huh, behind that tree? Whoa. Okay. What's going on here? How do you have a Pokemon out of its Pokeball? Hello, Mr. Guard. You have something we want. What do I... N not my space satellite. You, you tricked me. And unfortunately for you, back here we can do this. Alright, we are back. Fully healed this time. We are not going to lose and break the game. So, uh, let's destroy this Abomber Snow. Uh, let's go for a stacking shot. It's just when we went to Braxian's house, I saw the healing machine, but I also saw the computer, and the computer I just thought would be offline or something. I don't know why. I just never healed up. I thought, ah. Actually, to be honest, I thought I was already healed up. I thought I'd be full health, but I guess I wasn't. I mean, it would make sense if I was, because, you know, we've been resting and haven't battled in ages, but I don't know. That was for a second would have happened. Wish cash. Uh, we will... Let's just stay in. I mean, stack and shot should do better damage still. Come on, live the Aqua Tail. Oh, 1 HP! Oh, the hail is going to finish me off. I'm lucky, Greninja. You almost did good, bud. You almost did good. Alright, let's... Uh, go into Metacham. Fusion. Oh, yeah, you would. You would rest. Come on. Just keep going. One more, one more, come on. Ha! But it failed. 
There we go, get out of here, wish cash. And the last one is going to be the ambi palm, which we can just force palms, it's all good. Just got to stay in. Ouch. Ouch. We can paralyze it right now, that'd be so clutch. Oh, 1 HP! Are you serious? Oh, that sucks so much! Ah, oh, damn, dude. Damn. That means so good. There we go. We win, we now have the antenna. This is bad. Damn, right, it's bad. Bam, slam, thank you, man. We're gonna be taking that antenna now. And as for you, Adam, we'll be speaking with you shortly. Ho oh, ho. You guys lost your minds? Yes, he's gone, but what the hell were you guys thinking? We were thinking we found a way to disable the signal. And we certainly have. Couldn't care less about some grunt's life, especially our, uh, over ours. What have we got caught? What have we been done for? There's a risk involved in everything. We got what we needed, and that's all that matters. Plus, one of X will be arriving tomorrow. By the way, those two who were talking, it would be good for us. It won't be good for us, sorry. Who the hell is Madame X? We're not exactly sure, but we're guessing that she's one behind everything. If she's coming here herself, that can't be good. Which is why we must take all the risks possible. Sack has been forcefully put back in her room as punishment for messing with the guards. Could you hit this antenna down to her? She'll have something made for us in no time. Alright, let's go. Since Saki is no longer distracting the guard, it may be time to dis disperse. When you get that thing made by S uh, Saki, just come back here, Braxton will tell you what to do. Alright, let's go back to the cell. Get this thing made up. Oh, it's all starting to come together. We're about to start a riot. And we're going to destroy this castle. Destroy Team Zen. Yeah, this is going to be good, man. This story is picking up. I feel sorry for that guard. I really do. He just want to be, like, live in peace with his space antenna. Space satellite. Ah, oh, poor guy. Poor guy. Alright, so I think we go yeah, down this way. This castle. I'm, I'm starting to get used to this castle a little bit. It's not that confusing anymore. Just takes a little bit of exploring and getting used to. So Saki should be in her cell. There she is. What up? Yes, that's why I spawned. When you when I lost the battle first time, I spawned in my room right there. Obviously, you couldn't get out. Have you guys found the source of the interference signal? Did you do anything about it? I see. If that's the case, you may want me to make something then, don't you? All right, hand it over. Hello. <laughs> This is the antenna I ripped out of the ground. Whatevs, I can deal with this. Just give me a mo. Yo, it's done. Take it. How's the lovely star, baby? Hey, refurbished laser. That sounds cool. Take it and disable that annoying signal already. Uh oh, 10 minutes. Oh no, if they catch us with uh, that, they'll bust us for sure. No, 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 Forty. You just gotta hide that thing. It'll take too long to take the Braxian. You have to hide it on the eastern wing. Didn't we find some blind spots or something? Dig a hole and put it in there. Hurry! Quick! Gotta go! Be cool if you had like a little timer right now. We'd have 10 minutes to do this or... You screwed! Alright, let's go, let's go! To the east wing! Looks like we have to start the right on day 3 when Madame X arrives. Oh god, they've locked off that way. Quick! East wing! Quick, quick, quick! Blind spot, blind spot. Where's the blind spot? Was it where we were all talking the first time? Or could it be around here maybe because there's a blind spot around here. I don't know where I'm going to dig this thing. I don't know. Um, there's a tower there. So it's not really a blind spot anymore, is it? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Around here? Nope. By the antenna maybe? The antenna looked a little bit different. No, it didn't. That's my mind playing tricks on me. Oh. Okay. Okay, gotta return back to my cell. It's all good, it's all good. Nothing to see here, boys, nothing to see here. We doing good. We doing good things. We we're, we're obeying the rules, we uh we playing by the rules, we ain't doing nothing bad. Just just gotta believe me, man. Just gotta believe me. Done nothing wrong. Nothing at all. I return to my cell now, it's all good. There you are. You not hear the alarm uh, prompt? Get to your cell immediately. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, man, I'm going. Told you, I'm playing by the rules. I ain't no rule breaker. Why are you... Oh, all cells are um, unlocked. Good, now that everyone is snuggled tightly in their cells. What are you doing? The day isn't over yet. 
It is now. Nevid has instructed an early curfew for today. What the hell? For what reason? That is none of your concern. You can either stay up until tomorrow or lights out. This isn't good. Also, we have to think of something. Okay. Well, I'm going to end this part right here. Thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we are probably going to break the wall behind us, I would assume. Because it cracks there. Maybe we can get through there and then um, go do what we have to do. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.